hello scorpios welcome welcome to your mega and i really wanted to do one today all right scorpio please in the person mega reading messages please thank you so we're going to start off with these cards because i feel like my energy is being pulled to these cards first i see something just flipped and i'm gonna start so it says i saw you last night and you look so beautiful so that's the first message this person wants you to know, okay? Scorpio, please. What messages for Scorpio? All right. I will always feel like home. I, I mean, it will always feel like home. Scorpio, sorry. It will always feel like home, family. That's what that one says. And then we have more money for me. Ha ha. So we have like mixed messages coming through here. Like somebody is playing games. Somebody is in their feelings. Somebody is like, you know, stalking you. Wow. How do you go from stalking to telling somebody that how you feel about them like a love? And then it's like, whatever. <laughs> that we have... When you say stay, I run and never look back. So obviously there is something that happened in this relationship that you just don't trust this person no more. You don't trust them. You, you don't depend on their word no more. Their word means nothing to you, magician. So somebody is praying, hoping, twin flame connection for a reunion here. Okay. This person is praying and hoping for a reunion to happen between you and them. All right? Meta ma manifestated. Um, meditating, manifesting you, yes. But mostly I'm seeing meditating, like their eyes are closed. Like they're talking within themselves and praying for you, okay? So I'm gonna put these cards right here. Which is not the way they're doing it. You don't have to worry. I don't, I don't feel like you have to worry about it because it's in the up. But for some of you, um, of course, protect your energy. Um, because yes, this person could be, you know, trying to get you in a, get you back in there, you know, using some kind of, I'm not going to say magic because I don't like that word on this channel, but they're definitely... Everybody should be able to protect their energy. <laughs> okay. We have the nine of cups. Wow. Wow. See what I'm saying? A lot of faith. These cards are like slipping out of my hand. A lot of faith, a lot of hoping, a lot of praying. A lot of praying with everything upside and down. So no, I know why. So somebody is definitely crying here. Okay. They definitely crying here because their whole life is um, falling apart. Their whole life is falling apart. This Ten of Pentacles here is in the reverse. The Nine of Cups is in the reverse. The Hermit is in reverse. I mean, the Eight of Cups, somebody left, walked away from this person and never looked back. So your person probably left you, Scorpio, um, and never looked back or seemed like they're not looking back here, you know, or you walked away and never looked back. Take it as it resonates, you guys. This is a general. This person is like, ah, so happy. Like the burden is gone. Like they're just like, yeah, it was a lot to carry, a lot of burden. They felt very stuck. They felt very, um... Like they didn't have all the answers. Like they were in their own heads. Like this person was playing mind games. Like you were trying to figure out what's going on. This person wasn't being real with you. And you, you know, you exit. <laughs> you exit. But somebody is praying. This is where I'm getting a magician here. Manifestation. Somebody feels they have a lot of faith within this connection. Like y'all gonna get back together. That's what they're saying. Even though it's all an end. Like... But some of y'all have children together or y'all have some kind of contract together, okay? Um, marriage, for instance. Or you could have a business together with tied up with money. But this person look at you like you're definitely 
their love, you know, the one that they've been waiting for, the one that they've been praying for, but they let you slip through their fingers, you know, and I'm seeing someone being upset about you leaving, upset about this not working out. Okay. 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 Oh, wow. Okay. <sighs> Woof. All right. Talk about waiting. Talk about, you know, not trying to take the L. Talk about waiting for you to come towards them. You know, making you wait for like they have something else. But anyway, I see this person juggling two things. All right. It doesn't have to be a, a person, but we'll get to it. I'm sure we will. But they're not in a, uh, a point where they want to choose right now. I don't see that. I feel like they're just like, OK, where they are. All right. Now, <clears throat> they're not showing you any kind of affection or how they truly feel, because this person wants to take it. Try again. Let's try again. OK, this is what I'm, I'm seeing here. But they're still they're very still. They're actually watching you watching you to see if you have somebody else the three of wands you know but you know the funny thing is this magician keeps popping up three of wands and what follows under it is the magician praying that you don't have somebody else praying because something that this person did to you so I see that somebody's going to choose their self or end up choosing themselves but right now I don't see that happen and I see like you're feeling like that's what you need to do. Okay. That's what you need to do because there's a lot of healing that needs to be done here, but I feel like you're going to go single. Okay. This person is telling me you, you, you stepped out, you walked away, you walked away from them. Never looked back again. It was a burden to carry. That's what you're saying. You know, you happy, you single and it's true. You're going to be happy. You're going to be single. <laughs> you know, you're going to be glowing and everybody going to see you. Look at this. Wow. You're the queen of pentacles, baby. You got haul out cash. It's like the universe is going to make everything fall into place. If you feel like you're struggling right now, just know in a couple of months, you won't be struggling. Like soon as you change your life, things are start looking up. Happiness is on the way for you. Happiness. Suddenly you're going to be like, damn, I'm happy. I don't know why. Yeah. You're making a change for yourself. Tell me more, please. Okay. I don't see you giving anybody no love. I feel like you're tying up this um, this Ace of Pentacles. Some of you could be married to this person. Ace of Pentacles. Okay, the third party is here. Mm -mm. So it was a third party. I know this person was juggling, but I didn't know what yet. Now the angels are telling me, yeah, they had somebody else. But, you know, you're putting an end to everything. Look at this. Ace of, Ace of Wands. All that sex and all that physical stuff is a pause. Okay. <laughs> you going single. <clears throat> single, ready to mingle. You're going to be happy. You're going to be going out, celebrating with your friends, your family, whoever. Probably go to the bar by yourself. Honestly, this is what I see. I feel like it's going to be a rebirth. <laughs> a rebirth. Oh, my goodness. You're running from all these lies and the betrayal. You already figure out what, what's going on here. And you just exit exiting the door for this person. The third party, you're over it. You're ending this family that y'all got going on. And you just, you, you're ready to travel. You feel incomplete. You feel like you want to go places. You need to meet people. You feel this urge of choosing yourself. You feel it. You're not doing it, but you feel it. It's coming up. I see you traveling. I see you meeting new people. This is something that you want to do. Maybe move away somewhere else. <sighs> wow. The page of swords. Very cold energy because you didn't choose them. I didn't choose them. So let's um, clear this up and get into their reading. I want to see what they got to say for themselves, honestly. <laughs> and then I'll do you, Scorpio, okay? But let's see what they got to say. What Scorpio person have to say? The energy that's coming through. What do we have to say? What happened in this connection? The Scorpio person. What is this? So they were like 
I feel like this person is saying, um, I care about Scorpio. I really, really love Scorpio. But this could be overbearing for you at times, Scorpio, because they're trying, they're doing something wrong and they're trying to, um, not manipulate you, but play the victim a lot. Queen of Cups. Lovely card, but it's like that love could be, it could be great. And then at the times it could just be too toxic. Too toxic. Tell me more, please. Three of Pentacles. Hmm. Wow, this did not tell you. A third party. You look at them, you look like you really, really respected this person. You learned a lot from this person. This person is definitely the love of your life from your past. It's unfinished business between you and this person. You know this. Um, but you're trying to get away from this person. <sighs> well, this person is telling me definitely, you know, they have a lot of love for you, Scorpio. But... They really disrespected you. You don't look, you don't look at them the same way. They want you to know that. I feel like this person is saying that they're, you know, you are their soulmate. They have a really strong tie to you. They can't stop thinking about you. They really want a second chance with you. Okay. This person is from your past. They feel like it's unfinished business here. Okay. But you don't want to talk to them. You don't want to hear about what's going on. You don't want to hear their side of things. You don't want to have no form of clarity. You're just ready to exit. Oh, that's what you get when you mess with a Scorpio, honey. They like really complaining. It's about I learned from this Scorpio. I learned from this um, situation. that <laughs> I'm ready to start again with you. Only you, if it's a relationship. This is what this person is saying. You know, I was trying to hide the truth. It just fell out of control. You know, all these people were trying to be up in our business. Don't listen to them. You know, that's, a, that's, a, that's what I'm hearing. You know, people telling you to just, you know, don't be with me. I know I put you through a lot, but I want to work this out. I want us to work this out. We just need to work together. I know I want, I'm, I know I make you feel like you need to just run and, you know, hide and, you know, get away from me. But you look good though. Haven't seen you in a minute, but you look good now. You look like you refreshed. <laughs> That's what they saying, Scorpio. Since you left me, my life has been a living hell. I lost everything, okay? But I want to give you the love that you deserve. The King of Cups, baby. Yeah, look at it. It fell under the death card. The King of Cups. They want to give you the King of Cups. Soulmate connection, twin flame coming through. Queen of Cups, King of Cups. You guys balance each other out. Scorpio, you could be dating your own sign. Sorry to tell you, you could be dating a Scorpio. Uh, a cancer or Pisces water sign. Honestly, they saying cancer is our match, but I don't see it. <laughs> I don't see it. The cancer will make you feel like you, you, you know, you telling the truth, but they make you feel like you lying. Woo! Like they make you believe in the lie. <laughs> but like, damn, that's true right there. You right. You right about that. And you didn't even do it. Mm -mm -mm. All right. Soulmate connection coming through. Nine of Cups. Oh, I love this. Devil. Oh, this person probably mad. Listen, listen. I, let me just tell you what I see. Ah, damn, this is a lot. Let me just tell you. All right, I'm getting. <sighs> listen, don't, don't come for me. But just since it's a general, I'm telling you what I see. So I'm getting three different energies here. They got the devil, you got the lovers, and you got the two of cups. Two of cups is you and this person's connection. Because the six of cups is here. They're coming back towards you. Okay? You, Scorpio. They're saying that you're their soulmate. They want to have a second chance with you. And they want to present that to you. Okay? The two of cups, they can't stop thinking about you. I mean, they're dreaming about you. I mean, they're in the six of cups, they're thinking about the memories that you guys had together. Like, come on. Like, but you and this person, you know, you thinking about each other here with this two of cups. This is a strong, strong connection. They're saying you are the one. You have the nine of cups, then you have the nine of wands right next to each other. They're ready to fight. They ain't letting you go. Get ready for that. I don't know what you're going to do. Okay. Then you have the lovers here. So clearly this person was with a twin flame connection. Very sexual relationship here. 
you know, they couldn't let go either. That's a very strong pull as well. A lot of people end up with their twin flame, you know, doesn't have to be their soulmate. They, some people choose to be with their twin flame, but I see that that ended here because of the, the blowout. That's the, that's the, the crazy thing. Once it ends with the twin flame, you don't really go back. Cause damn, that person like betrayed your ass to the end of time. Okay. <laughs> the soulmate. Now you be like, damn, you know, my soulmate, I can't, stop, you know, they did this to me. They did that to me, but I can't stop thinking about them. You know, it's like, yeah, I'm meant to be. This devil here, this person is tied up in something. Now, this person could be with somebody else, okay? Baby mama, baby daddy drama, okay? Tied up with somebody else. They can't get out of it. They want you to help them to get out of it. So this person, for me, could be married, okay? Could already be married. You ain't, you ain't gonna deal with this. You silent. You silent. For some of you, you blocked this person, six of um, swords. You found out about this mess and you just blocked them. That's why you want to run away. But I see the nine of wands though. Both of y'all seem to be like this person could be the one that wants this to work all the way through. But because I see that you feel like this person definitely betrayed you because this is what they're saying. But this person is ready to, to work it out. Ready to work it out. Ready to work it out. Ready to talk to you. And you're going to be open to it. They know it. Four swords. You know, since you left, nothing been going right. They're ready to give you this connection. They're ready to be back with you. You know, dump this, a third party situation here. And, you know, they're ready to, if you, if you got a place to stay and have them stay with you. <laughs> <laughs> they want to be with you they just don't got nowhere to go okay they want to get out of this mess it's a toxic situation you know it's nothing good all right but damn they're saying you scorpio ain't trying to talk to me <laughs> i'm ready to present that cup the scorpio ain't trying to hear it so I'm just watching in the winds waiting for Scorpio to text me the scene tarot. Tell her that's or tell him. OK, that's what I'm doing. I'm ready when they are. I want to give I want to start this back up again. I know I'm slow. Yeah, slow. Nine of Pentacles, the hangman. Very, very slow. You know, it's all about rejection here. Plus, they're being unfair, you know. They don't want to be controlled here. They feel like you're controlling them, Scorpio. They want to take control of this relationship. This could be an Aries, Leo, or a Sag energy. Also, a Libra energy coming through to be direct. I'm getting a lot of cups here, okay? Like I said before, Scorpio, Pisces, or Cancer energy, all right? Hmm. Anyway, this person is coming towards you, though. Coming towards you. When you're looking at them, they're like, they crazy. Like they crazy. They, they really, you, they lost a lot of respect in your eyes and they know it. That's what they're saying all here. Like they feel like you just not going to be with them no more, but they're going to try their best because they can't have anybody else have you. Like, as crazy as that sound. And you know it. Sometimes I'll be saying stuff like that. I'll be getting in the comments like that. You got to say it like that. But you, you already know your person, okay? You already know. That's why it freaked you out because you know your person, <laughs> okay? They probably been saying all this stuff to you all this time. You're like, dang, don't be saying stuff like that, okay? Like, don't, don't let me see you with somebody else. Don't let me see you with somebody else because I don't know what I'm going to do. Yeah, that crazy talk. Okay. Let's see your energy. <laughs> Let's see what your energy is all about. I'm going to use another deck. It's going to be the same deck, but it's going to be another one. Okay. It's right here. I'll move this to the side. Scorpio. What's Scorpio thoughts on this relationship? Oh, my goodness. I'll be digging in your feelings, Scorpio. Trying to find out what you feeling for this person. Scorpio, please. What's their thoughts moving forward with this person? Thoughts moving forward. This person. 
Ooh, really? That's why I don't really like the Omegas. Y'all be too much. Scorpio, really? You want to talk to this person? Why? Oh, so you want the clarity with this person. You want a new form of way with this person. You're going to get it. Wow. Let's see what else. Oh, so you walked away. You never even looked back, but you would like to talk to them, huh? Or some of y'all is saying like this person walked away from y'all. You just want to know why? What the hell? Scorpio, you let somebody walk away with you? You need to walk away. Don't let nobody walk away from you. <laughs> walk away first. Um, okay. Oh, no. You walked away. Uh-uh. This person is definitely... Uh, you know it's coming, Scorpio. You know this new form of way is coming with this person because you already see what they all about. They calling you, texting you in their way, stubborn. Oh, my God. Pleading their case for some of y'all. Scorpio, this person is manipulative. This is what I'm seeing here. Some of you have been um, physically and mentally abused by this person. Like this person try to put you down. Don't have to physically touch you, but um, I'm getting like they're talking a whole bunch of crap to put your self-esteem down. Now they want to come in and balance the relationship. You already know this, Scorpio, but you're going to choose yourself. You need time, 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 time. This person didn't give you that. Didn't I say that you're going to choose yourself in the first set? And here's the temperance. Wow. You can't make this stuff up. Mm -mm. Scorpio, please. What's their thoughts on this? Because the Scorpio moving forward. Like, what's their thoughts? The Scorpio. Hmm. So you know this person is a child, but even if I mean, I don't mean to say it like that, but you know they're young minded. But even if you give them another chance, you're gonna take it real, 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 real slow. And you're approaching them like that as well. Very, very slow. Very, very slow. I see you giving them the side eye. Why? <laughs> I see you giving them a third party. That's why. They had you in a third party situation. Mm -mm -mm -mm. And they broke your heart. Stabbed you in the back. Wasn't even there when they when they needed you to be. When they need when you needed them to be. Excuse me. Ugh. They made you feel like you were by yourself. For some of you, this person made you feel like they chose somebody else. So a decision hasn't been set in stone yet. What about this relationship? It's a decision that needs to be made here that hasn't been made yet. For some of you guys, you could be, you know, married to this stubborn energy, Aries, um, Leo or Sag energy. Okay. Again, this person could also be a Virgo, Capricorn or um, Taurus energy. But you're saying, um, Scorpio, that you're done with this cycle. Like you're done. So whatever clarity you want. It's just to tie up loose ends because I feel like for some of you, this person is asking for another chance. Let's see. You're moving towards something. Ooh, don't tell me. All right. Yeah. Okay. You're not going to. Okay. You're, yeah. This person is too manipulative and reckless for you. So for some of you, this person is having unprotected sex with a lot of your, your peeps. Okay. People that you probably know, people that you don't know. There's STD involved with this, with health issues in the magician being here in reverse. Okay. This person is talking all kinds of crap behind your back, saying all kinds of stuff, even using their tongue, you know, which is a powerful weapon to manifest or to plant seeds in the universe to harm you. All right. It doesn't have to be dark magic, but dark magic to me, um, it doesn't have to be, I hope y'all don't sell y'all souls like that, but you know, it, you, your tongue is a very, is your most powerful weapon, you guys. And what you say does give birth in the universe. That's how you manifest. That's how, you know, you bring things that you want 
um, in your life towards you. So if you want money, you're like, oh, I'm, please, universe, bring money, bring, bring money to me, bring money to me, using your tongue. And it's, the universe is not going to hand you the money, but they're going to bring money in all different places to you. You're like, wow, how did I get this? Wow, I wasn't expecting that. Or, you know, so be careful what you ask for. Remember that saying, be careful what you ask for, be, be careful what you say, because you do plant seeds. And this person is definitely planting seeds of bad things about you. And this is not a good vibe. And you already know this, Scorpio. I see you moving on with communication with them, being very stern and telling them exactly what I want, but I don't see you moving forward with them, okay? With this Knight of Pentacles, this Queen of Wands in reverse, you're like looking at them with side high, like I said, very cold, very like not interested kind of thing. Hmm. Let's see what's the conclusion though. The conclusion could definitely say something else. It's all about this third party though. You're just not over that yet. You're not. Yeah, okay. Yeah, you're not going to be with this person. The devil. This is what you don't see happening. This person is just like waiting for you to rescue them. Okay, they stuck into something that they feel like you are their person that can take them out. And that's why they're so bitter about you walking away because they feel like they're stuck. Stuck into whatever this got going on. There's too many secrets in this relationship. There's a lot of people that's close to you that you need to watch out for. There's also a lot of jealousy. This person is holding a lot of things that you need to know. Um, and I'm also feeling like there are a lot of people that this person is trying to block for telling you the truth. It's all about the truth here, okay? But I also feel like there's going to be some kind of form of information that's coming to you that's going to bring action into your life, but you're going to be very guarded about this from the person that's actually coming in and tell you this. It could be this person that you're with, or it could be just somebody that you just don't know at all from your person. You know what I'm saying? That you don't know about. Um, <laughs> I feel like, you know, there's a lot of things that you need to do and you're realizing that a lot of things for yourself. So for some of you didn't get to travel, for some of you didn't get to, you know, open your own business or be, about, be on your own on your by yourself. For some of you been in a relationship since you were very young. For some of you, you know, it's just, it's just time for, to choose you. That's what I'm seeing here. You're gonna let go of a lot of things that happen in your life a lot of things that you didn't get you're just gonna start fresh okay you're gonna start fresh all right so what we're gonna do is i wanted to see i already know what's what um you feel in scorpio but i also wanted to pull some messages okay because i want to see what's going on here so we're going to use these messages here and see if, if your person want to tell us this could be you and your person mixed in together. Take it as it resonates, you guys. Angels, Scorpio, please. Scorpio, please. What's their energy, Scorpio, and their person's energy together? Thank you. All right, so let's start, you guys. We're going to do um, 12, okay? So your first message is, I am um, different now. Okay, so this person is definitely, you know, saying that for some reason they are different. Okay, so if you totally believe that this person was a narcissist or this person was a manipulator. This person was set in their ways and you could not even communicate with this person or to share your thoughts with this person because this person make you feel like you're not educated or you're just they put you down in a way okay i see a spring wedding here something about a spring wedding so you might be invited to somebody's wedding that this person is going to show up at okay um <laughs> yeah so or there's something very important about the spring wedding okay your eyes captivates me all right that's your other one. So somebody is love staring in your eyes, love staring in your eyes, or you love staring in somebody's eyes. Finding out the truth crushed me. Wow. Wow. I told you we we're going to find out the truth. I feel like that's your energy. All right. I'm starting to understand our connection. <laughs> I feel like that's your person. Never again. That's definitely you. I've been struggling. That's your person. Okay. 
Your family is trying to break us apart. What? Wow, that explains the seven of wands. Somebody that is going to get to you. This person been hiding the truth or hiding something or hide and protecting the relationship. Protecting the relationship in their own ways. You know, that's what I'm seeing here. We need balance. So somebody clearly feels like this could work. But, you know, there's just things that needs to be fixed here. I wish I could take back the words. I wish I could take back my words. Excuse me. So there was a lot of that was said here that really broke you. I hid behind material things. So this person could be a good dresser, have a great car. You know, they hide behind these things that they have. OK, or want. I miss these. I miss these sexy lips. Woo! What? What the hell that came from? And on the back of the, the card we have, you are it for me. Oh my God, you are it for me. Oh, I feel like, you know, therapy and, you know, it's not a bad thing, y'all. <laughs> I mean, sometimes we need to talk to somebody. Okay, counseling. Counseling is a better word because therapy, you're like, damn, Jamila, that's something that, you know, people, like, you know, massage your back or something. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, my God. But, yeah, counseling, y'all. I feel like, you know, couple counseling is good. You know, in this case, this is something that's needed. Okay? But we're going to go ahead and do the advice and see what the angels have for us. This actually wasn't too long. I was just going through it. I think I, f I didn't do your person. Okay, so we have one more and more. Like, one more step after this. <clears throat> All right, what's the advice for Scorpio in this person, please? Any advice for Scorpio in this person? Scorpio in this person. Eight of Cups always coming up. It's about walking away. So Scorpio, I'm getting like you walked away for a cycle. This is what you don't see a new beginning coming towards you. This could be the person that it depends on you, Scorpio, because you're doing the work. And um, as soon as you finish doing the work, I mean, the angels are going to give you what you want, give you what you always desired. OK, um, so this could be a new love. This could be the one that your heart desires. OK, so that's what you don't see coming. Wow. How beautiful is that? How beautiful. All right. So I'm definitely seeing a lot of healing that needs to be done here. This person definitely said a lot, done a lot. OK. A lot of embarrassment here, a lot of betrayal, a lot of devastation. All right. This is something that I'm seeing where, you know, you could forgive this person, but for some of you might not because it was just so open. It was just so known. Like a lot of people might have known about this or seen this or heard about this. And this made you look like you were crazy. Okay. Like you had this person doing all kinds of things. Okay. And getting away with it. Um, so it's kind of hard for you for, to forgive because there's a lot of people that know about the situation, but I do see some balance coming back into this relationship. If you like it or not, if you choose to just say, Hey, let's just be cool. We're better off as friends, or you can choose to work on your relationship again. I know it's going to be hard for you because you have a lot of things that you are healing from this person. Almost for some of you put you into a dark place and you almost stayed there. Okay. Um, I'm definitely feel like you did the right thing for yourself. You walked away, even though this person is telling me like, this is what you do. You, you, you walk away from me. You know, you don't want, you know, you don't want to, you know, have this relationship work or make it work. I'm getting like this person is saying, if you love me, why you keep walking away from me? Like, yeah, I do this. But when you love somebody, you stick with them. Like, uh, uh, this is just a, this is a toxic behavior that I'm hearing. And believe me, y'all, when I be talking about this and it sounds like, oh, I'm standing up for this person or I'm clowning you is not that. 
I'm just trying to translate the reading. Okay. I'm hearing things and I'm trying to just let you guys hear what, I, you know, trying to turn the words, how I will say it. It doesn't, you know, so just take it as it resonates. But, you know, I feel like if you do go back to this person, cause I do see a cycle that this person continue to put you through, continue to put you through. Okay. But this person feels like you are the one for them. Like you are best for them. Like there is nobody else, even though they step out a lot, there's nobody else but you. And I could hear your mouth right now, Scorpio. Oh, well, that's just too damn bad. Huh? Whatever, you know, <laughs> but the Knight of cups, you know, they don't, they want another chance, but they're scared. Any more advice, please? They want to take another chance, but they're scared. <sighs> I keep going pulled back here. Scorpio. I feel like that's your energy. Why? Oh my God. Like you want to see where things go with this person, but you're scared. You're just holding back. Why does candle seem like it's just blowing out? Like you're just holding back your feelings because, oh, sorry, holding back your feelings because you're just not sure about this person anymore. You're just not sure. Like you're scared to get burned because it's such a cycle. Like you guys been through this before and before and before. And this the cycle hasn't ended yet. So you have that right to feel that way. It's going to be, you're going to go through something else with this person. I knew a relationship like that, y'all. Like I had somebody that I was friends with. And every, I swear, every two months they had issues. Every two months this person was cheating on them. Like I was just like, not saying that that's what you're going through. Um, clearly it's a third party here, but not, I'm not like going through your situation. I'm just saying like, but this reading reminds me of that. Like they, but they, she, but this person constantly jumps right back in because they wanted a relationship with this person. But in the long run, you guys, it just, it just, it wasn't really worth it. I mean, was it really worth it? But, um, it's up to you to decide that, you know, let's do more. Let's see what's going on here. Wow. Wow, the king of wands, very passionate. This person really cares about you. I mean, very passionate about you. Aries, Leo, or Sag energy. Now I see your energy, Scorpio. You're moving definitely alone. Try to focus on your money. Try to focus on your sanity. You know, you're you're definitely leaving things in the star in the the the, the, the hands with the stars here. <laughs> You know, you're just not trying to make any kind of, ooh, oh my God, look at this. Soulmate, oh my God, soulmate, twin flame connection, the star, ooh, all is well with this. All is well with this. Oh, my Lord, look at this. Soulmate connection. It is, no, I'm sorry, uh, twin flame. Oh. Twin flame looking like my soulmates right here. Twin flame passion connection right here. Explains the wands. A lot of passion. A lot of, ooh, heat. Y'all gonna be sleeping together. So, I mean, if y'all not together, y'all gonna be sleeping together once in a while. I mean, <laughs> this person gonna call you up very, very soon. This is a conclusion. I mean, this person cannot get you out of their system, Scorpio. You could, but they can't. You got that venom inside them. Oh my God. That's what I'm seeing. Like at this point, what's the, what's the, what's, what's the reason of acting all crazy when you know you're going to get back? That's what I'm hearing. <laughs> oh my God. Let me go to see what your energy is like. We're going to do that step. I'm going to see where your energy at, where they energy at. Let me use this new deck y'all. Use this for your energy, Scorpio. Scorpio energy, please, towards this person. Oh, Scorpio energy towards this person, please. Let's 
Scorpio energy towards this person. Okay. All right. Scorpio, we have the Ten of Swords. Oh my God. Being a, talk about afraid. Talking about afraid. You know this person is you know look at this ace look at this ace of wands what the ace of wands on the back okay and what follows that is the eight of cups what is the eight of cups you walking away <laughs> don't mean to laugh y'all but you just gotta laugh at this point Scorpio, your person want to talk about talk about why you keep walking away from them and you just walking away every time you just get what you want. This Ace of Cups is passion, sex, you know, a, a new beginning, giving birth to something new. Mm, 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 mm. Pregnancy for some of y'all. Oh, my goodness. But as soon as you get what you want from this person, you just bounce. This could be an Aries, Leo or Sag. All right. Mm, look at this, what follows? This is crazy. The Ace of Cups. What? Hold on. Okay, so this was, okay. Okay, so this was in the middle. Okay. Then we have the Nine of Cups. Uh-uh, Scorpio. Then you have the Four of Cups. What is this? The Three of Swords. Oh, the third party. Oh, Lord Jesus. You ain't... Things going good, but then, I, but then you just remember what this person does. <laughs> That's what it is. Like you know, this person is the one for you. Nine of Cups. Look at you. You already know this person is the one for you. But you saying, "Damn, you do too much. I need a break." The Ace of Cups. So you already know about this. My Lord. Okay, let me see what this person got going on. But Scorpio, let's talk about this because I was so um into into all of this that's happening. I didn't even read your card, but you scared of this person. You just use them for whatever you. That's what I see you gonna be doing, using them for whatever purposes you have. Like you don't want to sleep with nobody else. You just want to sleep with them, okay? For some of y'all, like, but this person does you know this stab you in the back. You know, make you feel like damn. You know, you don't have no more to move forward with. You know, the Ten of Wands. You're ready to pack your bags and bounce, okay? But this person blocking your way. This person is blocking your way. You're like, excuse me. Get, please get out of my way. That's what I hear. But this person ain't letting you go. Look, you trying to you trying to run. Look at you, Scorpio. Trying to run. Pack your bags. Your bags are packed. You see what I'm saying? Hold on. Let me get, let me get it. You see your bags are packed, everything. You're on your horse. This person's stopping you. You ain't going nowhere. Mm-mm-mm. You're like, excuse me. <laughs> All right, what Scorpio person got going on? Angels, please. What Scorpio person got going on? What Scorpio person got going on? What messages? How Scorpio feel? Scorpio person feel about Scorpio? Tell me what they got going on for Scorpio. Cause Scorpio, I see you having sex and then telling them to leave. <laughs> Don't be sleeping over. <laughs> you you falling asleep? Get up, get up. Don't be sleeping over. Mm -mm. That's what I hear you telling them. Mm -mm. Get dressed. Uh-uh. Oh my goodness. All right. So, ooh, look at that. They look at you as the six of wands, baby. You beautiful. Nah, they ain't, ooh. But they know they got issues. Oh my God. For some of y'all, they're saying that you're the person that they want to marry, want to be with. There's a conflict. They're going to try to fix this. Oh, look at the three cards. Three cards, man. Six of wands, four of wands, a lot of passion here. Libra, not Libra, uh, Leo. Passion, Aries, Leo or Sag, energy. But you got Leo divine up in here. This person is into their way. They messed this up. This abundance with you, they know. They're going to fix it. They have the confidence, too, that they're going to fix it. So, all right. They gave you the uh, the four swords. They made. They gave you anxiety. They know that you walked away. You ran away because you couldn't breathe with this person. Okay? 
You couldn't find the stability or the, or, or the, the stability or the stable, the stableness of this. <laughs> what am I saying, y'all? But this is what it is. This person knows that you you walked away from them because you, they weren't steady. They weren't stable. You couldn't see the future. Now they're ready to make a decision. They want to make peace with this. Here's the emperor. They're ready to fight for you. Ready to fight. I already told you they're ready to fight. I already know this, but okay. They're ready to fight. They ain't going to have you move on with nobody else. They don't, they don't care. They want to be used. If you got to use them for whatever, at least you ain't having sex with nobody else. That's what I'm hearing. Mm. Whatever. Yeah, definitely Aries, Leo, or Sag energy. Some kind of fire sign up in here. Mm, mm, mm. This person. Mm. This person, y'all. Very passionate person. But got a lot going on. Let's see what we can do. All right, give me some messages for Scorpio. And their person, please. Close this out for Scorpio and their person. Wow. Scorpio and their person, please. These cards are like hiding under under each other. Okay, Scorpio and that person. What's the main energy? Slow as hell. <laughs> this person is slow as hell. Okay, that's their problem. Not moving fast enough. Not knowing how to solve something. All right, and I feel like they're still learning how to do this. They don't know how to really communicate, especially with you. Um, but Scorpio, they see someone that is, you already know this cause I already said everything six of wands, you know, they see, this is how they see you, but they see you, they, they see you to a point where you're just not trying to entertain them. Like you're closed off ish. Like something is just like holding back. Okay. Like you're holding back on this whole relationship. Like you just, you're not sure if this is something that you want to carry anymore. This relationship was a burden to you. They already know this. They already know that you put, they put you through a cycle. They already know that, you know, you want to move on with your life. They want, they know that you want to travel. They know that you want to do things. Okay. They know that you, they be, they put a 10 swords in your back, that you carry the whole 10 wands on your damn back. You know, all the responsibilities of this relationship, trying to keep things up, um, trying to make it appear that, you know, it was good to your friends and family. But the truth is this relationship was just a burden. It was a lie. Okay. They are acknowledging everything, but I want to talk about the four of pentacles and the two of cups. And then we have the higher for all here. Um, there's going to be a solid situation where you're going to decide, okay, moving forward, what you want to do. Cause this is your energy Scorpio. And I'm looking like you're going to pick, um, because it's funny how you have the two, the card number two card here, and then you have the two of cups and then you have the four of pentacles for me two. Two is four, right? So it's just like, you guys, for me, are going to start over from scratch. You're going to start over, go on dates, you know, get to know each other again. There is going to be a pull that you guys cannot deny. Um, you can't, even if you move on with anybody else, you're going to be pulled back to each other because this is a past life situation. You guys have been together before, so here it is. Um, and you're going to make a decision to accept this and work on this relationship, whatever you decide, you know, but you're in, in the end, you're always going to be pulled back to this person. And this is what I see here. Okay. All right, y'all, but this person definitely needs to work on their fast movement and trying to find out like how to get you back, how to solve this when stuff hit the fan. Like, okay, I messed up with Scorpio. So let me find out how I can fix this with Scorpio. And this is what I see. This is the mega y'all. I hope you enjoy it. If you did, you know what to do. Like this video, give this video a big thumbs up on the channel. Um, if it doesn't resonate, I will have a link in the description box. It will be your playlist. Scorpio, I love you guys. Know that you're worth it. And I know this message was all over the place. I was just having a little fun while I'm doing this. I hope you got the message and I'll see you guys 
next video. Bye guys.